Welcome back to AM Northwest on this Monday morning. And Dave's still busy eating away at the dessert. It's good stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Vancouver band Travis Peterson is making a mark on the local music scene with their rich sound and sweet lyrics. From their album, This Time Around, here is Travis Peterson band performing Closer. Sunset of your eyes And don't you worry Cause I'll be there when you wake up So close your eyes And dream a dream Oh best of me and you're always giving the best of me and you're always gonna be so come a little closer to me yeah come a little closer to me Sip some champagne in a crystal clear glass on a rooftop. Use your imagination, let it slip away and let it be. So come a little closer to me. Yeah, come a little closer to me. Also, oh, close your eyes and realize. We're still here Yeah, close your eyes And realize We're still here The tables have turned The candles they burn But still here we are Yeah, still here we are Yeah, still here we are Stop here. So come a little closer to me. We won't stop. This is Travis Peterson, uh -huh. and then we have Dad Tom uh, Tom Peterson. We have Bryce Harmson. Is that right, Bryce? And then we have Andy. So we have father, son, and brothers. And brothers. <laughs> How did you guys get together? Now you got together in 2006. Yeah, um, we actually we've been playing together for about five or six years, and we we actually started playing at church together. We actually used to go to East Park Community Church together, and we just started out there and kind of all had the same vibe together and we just decided to start writing music together. You say you used to go to church together. What happened? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Rock and well, roll you know, over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like though, you know, working with your dad in a band? That's oh, it's it's great. I mean, I've been playing with him since I was, you know, really young. He showed me pretty much everything I know. But so. I mean, I know a little bit about band life, and you know, you're on the road and groupies. <laughs> That's got to be kind of weird when you and your dad are. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, all right, listen. Uh, I think yeah. it's, this is going to be like the Jets. They're going to be separate trailers after a while, and a shrink that goes with you. It's going to be fun though, because you, yeah. you obviously you all like each other. Yeah, we have a really good like, uh, just like a level of respect for each other. So we don't ever have any problems, really, to be honest. Sure. And, and tell us about the fans now, Andy. Oh, yeah, just growing our fan base online. Well, Facebook really helped, and then uh, we won a couple competitions at Buffalo Gap that really helped out, too. So yeah. just 
having a pretty good turnout, trying to promote, get ourselves out there. So. You have a great sound. Uh, you yeah. know, I, I was expecting, I was expecting like you know, uh, more rock and roll. But there's a lot of country. There's a lot. There's a lot yeah. of influence in your music. Yeah, definitely. You know, that's by design. I'm assuming. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, I love, I love country music. I'm always, uh, I love, listen to it all the time. Love John Mayer, uh, Keith Urban. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's kind of basically my main influences. Uh, so. I read that you guys are as a band. You like. The way the lights shine off the streets after a rainfall. It's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's one of our lyrics Definitely. from one of our songs. I, I, I have to tell you, of all the bands we've talked to, that's the first time I've seen that. Uh, but that's interesting. Do you guys do that? Do you just like walk around wherever you're performing and after rainfall and look at the lights? Yeah. Uh, nice. When we get the chance. Yeah. It's kind of oh, relaxing. very cool. Yeah. Sure. When it comes to being like motivated or you know, struck by something when it comes to writing a song, what are you most struck by? Is it? Usually it's just like an experience, you know, you kind of write by experience, um, like if something moves you, you just tend to just sit down with your guitar or just with the band and basically just start talking about, you know, shoot, what's going on in our lives, what do we really want to, I mean, because it's got to be something that can relate to other sure. people and that's sure, like sure. the biggest thing, when you play a song and you see people out in the audience that are really having this moment and they're like, wow, I, I'm there, I'm there right now and that's the coolest thing for me is to get that feedback back from them, so. And you guys have a couple of free concerts coming up. We do. And yes, we're going to put the information on our website for everyone to yeah. check out. So it'll be on K2.com. And again, the title is This Time Around. Thank yep. you very Thanks much. Thanks for coming. Thank we appreciate you. it. Yeah. And we'll right. be right back. Yep.